All right, so let's start shaping this out. What I could do here is take this edge all the way from the very bottom, go to. And I know sometimes it's really hard to see which edge I select inside a video. So I'm also going to take maybe this grid and turn it off so you can kind of see a little bit better. You don't have to turn yours off. I'm just turning it off because it makes it a little easier to see. And I could take this edge and start going like this to it. And where that needs to blend is probably right here. So, you know, I'll probably take that back. Just like that. So now it blends into the two forms. And I'll do that for the top one too. So usually it's really easy to grab all the edges and do that, then blend it back. This one, I think we just need a slight change. When you're using the front view, know the front view on this really doesn't do it justice. And it represents the shape as it was when um, the wings were spread out, not together. We're going to be modeling it together, then spreading the wings out. So you'll see that. Uh, the shapes don't line up even in the perspective, like this is too short compared to this wing. So we're only going to use this front view very sparingly and trust my gut instinct a little bit. So now I'm just kind of shaping this out a little bit. And I'm holding shift and select here. And I'm taking these and I'm just push, pulling them in a little bit just scaling them only in X, okay? Good. Okay, so this is the shape you should get. Nice round shape. Two forms meet well. Okay, so how do I get this? This little pilot seat. This little cockpit. Well, that's a drastic form change. So, in this case, I'm going to take these four faces and extrude them up. Blue arrow. And then in the side view, I'm going to fix it up. Okay, take the vertices. Take these, put them here. Just put them here and pull these down. Okay. Also, I'm going to take these vertices and scale them in. So now I get that really cool cockpit look. I'm going to make this a little bit more drastic than uh, the representation of it. So I'm going to pull it up just a little bit and take these edges and then pull them down just a little bit. And I think that cockpit's actually straight across. So there we go. That's a little bit better. So sometimes when you're doing drastic form changes, you do, you want to over exaggerate it just a little bit, and then you want to make sure all your shapes blend together. Like these two forms don't look too good, so that looks a lot better just with that one vertice down. Okay, 
good. Okay, now I'm going to play devil's advocate a little bit and say, well, if I hit three on the keyboard, what happens? Ooh. Okay. When I'm doing non-organic geometry uh, modeling, you know, I kind of worry about uh, baking my textures later on. And I'll show you a workflow later on with this. But I'm going to try to get you to work up to that workflow. Okay. And that workflow entails me going in here and making sure when I hit 3 on the keyboard, this thing does not collapse in on itself. So we're going to make a very high poly version of this, and then we're going to be able to reduce the polygons down using techniques. Okay, so right now, if I insert an edge here and here and hit 3, you can see that it doesn't really um, fold in on itself as bad. Okay. And also one here and here, you see it does a really nice job. Okay, let me off click on this so you can see this. So not bad at all. Okay, let's fix the cockpit. Okay, in this case what I want to do is insert some edge loops before the form change after the form change. Okay. Hitting three, get a better shape. Also, this is a very, very hard edge right here to here. Okay. So what I do there is I'm going to insert an edge loop here. Insert an edge loop here. Here and here. and even move this one a little bit closer so it becomes a little bit more hard edge. All right, and what I want to do is model those windows out. Those look really nice, right? So here's how you do that. First, you brace this form right here as best you can. Now the problem here is, if I brace it here and here, watch what happens. It actually does a pretty nice job. Let me let me make it another material here, just to kind of show you back and forth what, what I'm looking at. So I'm going to create a new material. And I'm going to make a Lambert. Okay, that way I can kind of show you without it being so uh, transparent. Okay, so here we go. Right here, if you look at it now, against the light, you can see this crease show up. Okay, here you're seeing this crease show up. Now, I don't think that was just like that. So, let me show you things that I did that I could probably do better. Okay, when I scooted these two together, when I took and moved this here, just like that, what that did is it caused a crease in that area. Instead, what I can do is go in here, and I can use the slide edge tool. And I can middle mouse button click and drag. Now this will make it so there's no crease. Again, I'm going to highlight the edges here. Go back into the slide edge tool. Middle mouse button, click and drag back. Three on the keyboard. We'll show this. And if I go back to that other material, which I have to now make because I undid it. you'll see no crease there. And that's a good thing. Now there's a slight crease still.
last thing you can do is take this tool transform component and pull that edge just a little bit out and I think that's enough so it doesn't go into the next level of smooth so that's good there's a slight crease, but it will go away, I promise you. All right, so those windows right there, how do I get these to go back into it a little bit? Well, that's very easy. What I can do here is go to Face, Extrude, and I'm just gonna extrude this a little bit in green and red, and then I'm going to extrude it back. Okay, I'm going to do that to the back window also. Just a little bit with green and red. And then extrude. And blue arrow back. And I'm going to do that to both sides. And in a little bit, I'll show you how to symmetrically change that. So they are perfect on both sides. Good. The last one is these two windows right here are actually one. So a little bit of red, a little bit of green. And that's going to be your workflow for any time you need to make kind of like an extrude in look. And I think this whole back window right here is actually one piece. So this is where the reference kind of fails me, but let's look at the top view. Maybe we can find something a little bit better. So I can quickly change back and forth materials by just going into right click, assign existing materials Lambert 1. And I can see that if there's anything weird going on here, it's just the back window. Okay, so. So in this case, I just want this back window recessed. Again, sometimes it's really hard to see. So I'm going to sign back that Lambert 5 just so I can see. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of in. There we go. All right. Please meet me in the next video where we can put some more detail on this.